Hi students, good evening everybody. Welcome to the online classes. Already I have started menstruation. I have come to one subtopic. That is the first one. That name is a formulas. So the previous part one, part two, I have come to the formulas and flows. So definitely I give the basic knowledge of this chapter. Now today discuss about the third. Second subtopic that is a lateral surface area and curved surface area and volume of the solids. So, part three today discuss about the part three that means session three in this chapter. Discuss about the subtopic name is a sub second one in this menstruation that is a lateral surface area, total surface area and volume of solid volume of solid okay guys first you are tightening first you understand what is tightening line lateral surface area total surface area volume of the solid so in the sum topic i give some sums first you study the sum what is the solid is given in that sum first you find out that relative formulas you remember that after you do it as sum okay guys this is model once remember that in this sum topic i do some example sums so you study the sum first one you identification what is the solid is given that's first important which one solid is given in the sum you first identification second one you are what is the relations of the formulas of given solid you remember that one next one which one information are given in the sum that's one you write now after you do it the sum this is steps are keep your mind that's easy to do it the sum okay now i write the one sum of this session that's a first sum a right circular cylinder has base radius 14 cm and height 21 cm first question in this case area of the base area of the base or area of each end area of each end next one second one curved surface area curved surface area third one total surface area next fourth one volume of right circular volume of right circular cylinder c1 means cylinder wait guys first you study the equation a right circular cylinder has base area is 14 cm height is 21 cm in this find the area of the base or area of the each end second one curved surface area third one total surface area fourth one volume of the right circular cylinder guys you are studying the sum which one solid is given first you find out so what type of the solid is given right circular cylinder is given so immediately you draw the rough diagram in the right circular i give a solution so right circular i write 
C. This is a right circle. Right circle plus cylinder. Okay. So already you know this total information I have compared in the previous session. Now what is the information are given here? Base radius is given. Base radius is given. That's the right. Given base radius. Base radius. That is equal to 14 cm. Simply that's what you write. R is equal to 14 cm. That's one immediately to identification in the figure. This is a base. What is the shape of the base? Circular base. See this model. It is like that cylinder. This red color cylinder. You observe the base. What the shape of the base? Circular. So here given the radius. So that's why we represent small r. The small r value is 14 centimeters. So both this name is O. This name is A. O is the radius of the circle. That is O R is equal to 14 centimeters. Already know that this is a height. Why it is called a height? It is a axis of the term, axis of the term cylinder. This axis perpendicular of the base. So it is called height of the cylinder. That one is also given in the sum. You will check it. Height is equal to 21 centimeters. Height is equal to. That's all right. Shortly, h is equal to 21 centimeters. Yes, you are not done here. h is equal to 21 centimeters. That's one given the information. So, what type of solid? Cylinder. And we need to remember that formulas. So, see the chart. Here the a regular circular cylinder is there. A regular cylinder, circular cylinder is lattice surface area is 2 pi r h. Total surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r of r plus h. Regular circular cylinder volume is a pi r square h. Or what is the shape of the base circular shape? What is the area of the circle pi r square? Okay, guys. So this all formulas, once you are remembered, your mind. After you do it, this sum is very easily. Now, say what is the first question? Yes, the first question is area of the base. The first question is area of the base. Area of the base. Guys, what is the shape of the base in the cylinder? Circle. So, you remember that the area of the circle formula pi r square. By pi is not mentioned in the sum. That's why generally you take the pi value is equal to 22 by 7. So, this place I write that 22 by 7 into, you know, radius of the base. Base radius is a 7 14 centimeters, so 40 whole square. So 22 by 7. So this power have 2. That the base is write right the 2 times. So 4 into 4, 14 into 40. This 7, this 14, how many times is cancelled? 2 times. So 22 to 44 into 40. These two are the multiplication. 14 into 44. 4 4 are 16. 6 1 4 1 are 4 plus 1 5. So again 4 14 are 56. So 6 11 1 6. This is a 6 1 6. The area of the base. Area. What is the units of area? Just you write that. The centimeters are given the measurement, so you write in a centimeter square. So one sum is completed. Area of the base or area of each end. Each end means this is a set issue. 
So that's when you find out that's why it takes a of the base. So one sum is complete. Next one, what you want? Covered surface area. What is the short notation C S A? So what is the formula of covered surface area of cylinder? Covered surface area, another name, lateral surface area. Lateral surface area of the cylinder formula 2 pi r h. Thus, first you write this one is better. I write here. Okay, guys. So question, question number two in this uh, sub question. So covered surface area, covered surface area of cylinder. That's formula 2 pi or h. So 2 to bring down pi generally how take it that 22 by 7 into r value already given that r means radius, radius is equal to 14 centimeters. The 14 centimeters is substitution in this formula into height. Height C this one. What is the height? H is equal to 21 centimeters. That's 21 centimeters of substitution in this form. As this 7, how many times is cancelled? 2 times. So 2, 2, sir, 4. 4, 22, sir, 88. Once again, 2, 2, sir, 4. 4, 22, sir, 88. 88 into 21. Come to the rest. So 21 into 88. How many times is 8, 1, sir, 8. 8, 2, sir, 16. Again, this is like this. So, 8, 14, 1, so 8, 1, so 1848 centimeter square. It is a area. What type of area? Curved surface area of the cylinder. That's radius is 14 centimeters, that height is equal to 21 centimeters. That's covered surface area is 1848 centimeter square. So the second question is also completed in this sum. Next one, third question, total surface area. Total surface area shortcut T S A. Total surface area. Total surface area of the cylinder form. Once remember this one, total surface area of the cylinder form 2 pi r of r plus h. So 2 pi r r plus h. 2 pi r r plus h. See this one 2 pi r of r plus h. So here write 2 into pi means 22 by 7 into R value is 14, 14 plus H value is equal to 21. Once again, this R value is substitution in this formula. 2 to bring down into pi value is given 22 by 7 into R value is equal to 14 of R plus H. R value 14 plus H value 21. Yes. Now in simplification that's one. Yes, this cylinder how many times is cancelled 14? 2 times. 2, 2, sir, 4. 4, 28. 22, sir, 88. Into 14 plus 21. 14 plus 21, 35. 14 plus 21, 35. So, 35 into 88. 8, 5, guys, 40. 8 trees 24, 24 plus 4, 28. Leave it one place. 0, 8, 2, 0, 8, 10, 1, 3. So 3080 centimeter square. It is also area, but it is a total surface area, including this ends also. The total area of the solid is a 3080 centimeters square. Okay, so third question is completed in this sum. At the last one, volume of the right circular cylinder. Fourth question. Fourth question, volume. If once remember that volume of the right circular 
cylinder right circular cylinder volume formula pi r square h why because base area into height what is the base shape circle circle formula area formula pi r square so simply you write pi r square h pi r square h you know pi value 22 by 7 Square h value twenty one. Now I do the one this side. Fourth one volume is equal to twenty two by seven into s fourteen. Here the fourteen square means is the right the two times fourteen into fourteen. Fourteen into fourteen into s twenty one. Twenty one. S guys. This seven is how many times is can say three times so three twenty two sixty six into fourteen fourteen sir check it one fourteen fourteen is generally you know that fourteen four four sir sixteen one four one sir four fifty six one four one nine six so one nine six fourteen fourteen sir one nine six. So one nine six into multiplication is sixty six. One nine six into sixty six. Six six sir thirty six three. Six nine sir fifty four. Fifty four plus three fifty seven. So seven five. Six one sir six sir six plus five eleven. So six six sir thirty six six three six. Nine star fifty four plus three fifty seven seven five six one star six plus five eleven. Okay, leave it one place six seven one one six thirty one nine two one. So twelve thousand nine hundred thirty six. Twelve thousand nine hundred thirty six. What is this volume? So volume general formula area into height. Area unit. So suppose it's square centimeter square suppose into height centimeter. So centimeter square into centimeter centimeter cube. So the units is a centimeter cube. Okay guys, the sum is over. Do you understand? Okay. The total is it clear? Yes. First is thirty. The sum. What is the soil? First you find out. Immediately remember that relate to formulas. After what given the information in the sum? That's what you know now. So you draw the one graph diagram. Easy to do it. Okay. Next. Right, guys. Question number two. Find the volume and surface area. Surface area of a sphere of a sphere of radius radius two point one centimeters. Here pi is equal to twenty two by seven. Okay. Once you read that sum first, find the volume and the surface area of sphere. So in this case, what type of the soil is the sphere? Immediately remember that sphere formulas. The surface sphere. Lattice surface area and lattice surface area formulas have the same. You know the next one. So sphere of lattice surface area four pi r square. Lattice surface area also four pi r square. But volume is changed. The volume is equal to four by three pi r cube. Four by three pi r. Cube. So like this uh, sphere. See, this is a sphere. In the sphere. What is the given the information? Radius only given. What the value? Two point one centimeter. So this one radius how? Two point one centimeter. 
this. Okay, guys. See, I write the first information solution. First, I draw the sphere. It's a circle. You draw the inner circle. Yes, it's like that sphere. Sphere radius is there. How much radius is there? R is equal to 2.1 centimeters. This is a center. This 1.8. A. So given radius, the radius sharp letter R R is equal to 2.1 centimeters. Yes, it is given the decimal number. To calculation is some trouble. So first you remove the decimal number. General fraction number you change. How? Just simply write 21 by 10. Why? Because here one number of the decimal is there. Okay, guys, it's clear. So how to remove that sum? Just simply 10 by 10. 10 by 10. So 21 by 10 centimeters. Okay, now see what the first one you find volume. Which one solid is there? Sphere. So volume of the sphere. Volume of the sphere. So volume of the sphere formula. So 4 by 3 pi r. 4 by 3 pi r. 4 by 3 pi r cube. Already pi value is given see in this sum. The pi is equal to 22 by 7. That's why you know here 4 by 3 pi value 22 by 7. R value is given 2.1 centimeters. That's why you write 21 by 10. So 21 by 10 whole cube. 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 21 by 10 you write 3 times. Why? Because this number power have 3. That's why this number write 3 times. Is it clear? by 10 into 21 by 10 into 21 by 10. Hmm? So, this 7 moments is cancelled. 3 times. This 3, this 3 is cancelled. You know, 4 22s, 88. 21 21s, 441, I think. 441. 21, 21, 441. 10 into 10 into 10,000. So, 441 into 88. 8 1, sir, 8. 8 4, sir, 32, 3. 8 4, sir, 32. Yes, 8 was a 8, 8, 2, 4, 32, 2, 3, 8, 4, 32, plus 35. Yes, 8, 2, 5, 3, 8, 10, 1, 8, 8, 3. So, 3, 8, 8, 0, 8, 38,880 by 1000. In the denominator 1000, how many zeros are there? Three zeros are there. So just take your one decimal right to left three numbers. So 38.808. What is this volume of the sphere? What is the unit of volumes? So here the radius is centimeters there. So that's why we write the centimeters cube. The sum is over. Wait. One more is the surface area of this completed. Now you find the surface area of the sphere. As yes, here in this case, in the sphere case, lateral surface area, total surface area, both are the same. So that's why take it as simply surface area. I write the surface area. Surface area. Area of the sphere. Area of the sphere. 
What is the surface area of the sphere generally formula? 4 pi r square. 4 pi r square. Already that I have completed in the previous part 2. So 4 pi r square. So 4 into pi means 22 by 7 into r value 21 by 10 whole. 21 by 10 whole square. So 4 into 22 by 7 into 21 by 10 into 21 by 10 is this 7 how many times is cancelled? 3 times so this is a 88 into this one is 63 321 63 by 10 into 10 100 so guys 63 into 88 8 3 is 24, 2, 8 5, 8 6 is 48 plus 2, 50. So 4, 0, 5, 4, 4, 5, 5. So 5,544 by 100. Then I have 100 is there. The 102 zeros are there. That's why I write the decimal in the numerator. How? That right to left you count the two numbers after you write that one decimal. So 55.44. Here the surface area, surface area radius is given in the centimeters. So that units is a centimeter square. The sum is over. Okay guys? Next. Very very important sum next to one. Test third question. A sphere, a cylinder, a sphere, a cylinder, and a curve, and a pole are of the same radius and the same. Height find the ratios ratios of their curved surface areas. Curved surface areas. Guys, this question is very very important according to the public examination, definitely given to most questions. And not only public exam orientation, this question even competition oriented also. So, once you study, you find out how many solids are there in this sum, what are there, and what given the information to identification. So, that's what you need. A sphere, a cylinder, and a cone are same radius and same height. In this case, Three solids are there. The three are different solids. First one is the sphere. Second one is the cylinder. Third one is the cone. Okay? But here one condition is there. Are the same radius? Yes, all are the same radius. Means sphere radius and cylinder radius and the cone radius are the same. Next one, and the same height. So that means uh, height of the sphere, height of the cylinder, height of the cone is same. Find the ratio of their curved surface area. So now you find curved surface area of the sphere, curved surface area of the cylinder, curved surface area of the cone you find it. Once remember that curved surface area of the sphere formula, Curved surface area or total surface area and generally that's when you take up the surface area. 
the surface area is form is a 4 pi r square. 4 pi r square. Next one, what is the curved surface of the cylinder? Curved surface of the cylinder is equal to 2 pi r h. What is the curved surface of the cone? Cone curved surface is equal to pi r l. You find out the ratio of the three one. First, you see this is a cylinder, this is a sphere, this is a cone. Guys, it is only model. These are called only model. But here condition is there. Sphere, cylinder, cone, each radius have the same. And one more thing, height also same. This two are height same, but it's not same height. But your imagination, the sphere is also same height of the cylinder and core. That is correct. Okay, now I draw the set of diagrams. See. First one. Sphere. Is. This is a sphere. It is a radius. O A is a radius. O A is a radius. Next one. Cylinder. This is a cylinder. This is also radius R. R radius R. This is a height. Height H. Next one. Cone. Cone. This, this is a cone. This is a height. This is a radius. This is called a slant height. It is A. It is O. It is P. Okay. Guys, just imagination. These three are the same height. I mean, it's between C. Observe the same height. How much height is this one? The same height, this one. The same height, this one. So the three solids are same height. And uh, how much radius is the sphere? The same radius is also cylinder. And the same radius is also cone. Okay, guys. Now, first I read that one. Solution. So, radius is which one is represented? Or, I write that the radius of the sphere given radius of the sphere radius of the sphere equal to radius of the high cylinder cylinder equal to radius of the cone that is equal to of general first you calculate the height of the sphere that is better this is a height. Guys, you observe this height is passes through the center of the sphere or not? Yes, definitely it is passes through the center of the sphere. So that one is called diameter of the sphere. The diameter equal to 2 radius. The 2 into r. That diameter have taken in this sphere height. Okay? So, now height of the sphere, height of the sphere equal to diameter of the sphere, diameter of the sphere, so diameter generally write the length. 
letter D. The D you can write simply to R. So this height of the sphere take H is equal to two R. So this height is also two R. This height is also two R. Why? Because same height sphere cone cylinder have same height. So I write uh, that means height of the sphere height of the sphere equal to height of the cone cylinder height of the cylinder equal to height of the cone that is equal to 2R 2R now you calculate slant height of cone why you calculate slant height of the cone already remember that the lack is covered surface area of the cone what is the covered surface of the cone for the pi or l in this case pi value no r value no l value is not there first you find out the lack slant height of the cone right about the top slant height. So, cone. I draw the diagram, rough diagram. This is A, O, B. This is slant height. It's represented in L. This is a direct height. That's H. H is equal to 2 R. Why? It's find out that this height equal to this is 2 R. This one is also 2 R. So, H is equal to 2R. This is a base radius, that's one generally you take it the R. So, L square is equal to, it is a pi right angle triangle, you apply the hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. So, L square is equal to H square plus R square. H value 2R whole square plus this one R square. 2R whole square means 2R into 2R plus r square. This is a 2, 2, and 4, 4 r square plus r square. 4 r square plus r square, 5 r square. This is a l square. You want l, therefore l is equal to root of 5 r square. Wait guys. You know exponent powers in 8th class time. One of the formula is there. Root of a b. Root of a b means root a into root b. That one apply here. Root 5 into root d r square. So root 5 into square root is cancelled of root 5 into r. That is a slant height of the core. Now you find out the covered surface areas. The points are the key now. This value is equal to 5 root 5 r. Now see S1 is a Covered surface area of cylinder. As for sphere, S1 is a covered surface area of sphere. That's formula 4 pi r square. This is any change, no change. Directly no the 4 pi r square. S2 means, S2 means covered surface area of covered surface area of cylinder. That's general formula 2 pi r square, 2 pi r h. So 2 pi r, r is not change, radius is same with all solids. H is change, h value is equal to, you take up 2 of h plus you write the 2 r. So 2 to sub 4 pi into r into r, r square. This is a covered surface area of the cylinder in this case. Next one, S3, covered surface area of so that's formula pi r l. Pi don't change it, r don't change it. Already find out l in the code that is a root pi r. So simplification that's one root pi pi r square. Now you find out the ratios of the curved surface areas. Ratios of the curved surface areas. That means S1 is to S2 is to S3 is equal to this one is a first one is a S1 
value 4 pi r square, 4 pi r square. Second one is also 4 pi r square. Third one is a root 5 pi r square. Pi r square. So, in the three, first one solid sphere, that's the color surface area 4 pi r square. Next one, 4 pi r square. And next one, color surface area the pole, root 5 pi r square. In the three terms, pi r square is same, the pi r square is cancelled. What remaining? 4 is 2, 4 is 2, root 5. 4 is 2, 4 is 2, root 5. This is a ratio of the curved surface area of the sphere, cylinder, pole. Guys, so in the first, I mean second subtopic is pole. Remind some to your practice pole. Thank you.